What's up everyone? It is Andrew here from Apple Insider. And today we are talking about the brand new 2020 MacBook Airs. Yes, Apple just released an updated MacBook Air that is faster, cheaper, and more capable than ever. So let's go ahead and dive in and compare to the previous generation and look at what is new on the 2020 MacBook Air. So externally, the updated 2020 MacBook Air looks pretty much the same. As far as external hardware changes go, the biggest one you're gonna notice is the keyboard. Apple has now used the new Magic Keyboard here, which has an updated scissor switch design that first debuted in the 16 inch MacBook Pro. So this is going to be more reliable and get rid of any worry people had from the previous Apple keyboard design. So a new refreshed keyboard here inside of the MacBook Air. Internally, Apple has upgraded its graphics powers, now going to the Intel Iris Plus graphics, which, while just gonna give you better performance overall, allows it to now power a 6K external display, including the Apple Pro Display XDR. Because if you're buying a MacBook Air, you're likely going to be shelling out just as much for the Pro Display XDR. But it is an option for anyone out there who does want to power the Apple Pro Display XDR or any other 6K display. Now, as far as processing capabilities go, Apple is shipping the base unit with a 10th generation 1.1 gigahertz core i3 processor, and it can be spec'd out to a 1.2 gigahertz quad core i7 processor. The previous generation only went up to an i5, so it is definite improvement as far as processing capabilities go. When it comes to storage, Apple has upgraded the base model once again. Now, instead of starting at 128 gigs, the new model starts at 256 gigs. That is a huge improvement. You're gonna be able to store so much more content and media on the base unit of the MacBook Air. And not only that, but Apple has dropped the price by $100. Instead of starting at $1099, it now starts at $999. And education pricing starts at $899, which is incredible. So the new machine is faster with those updated 10th generation processors. It has more storage on those base units. It can be outfitted to a max of two terabytes now, up from only one terabyte. So it can be outfitted to even more storage than in the past. Faster, better graphics can power a 6K external display and it starts for less money. So the only downside of the new MacBook Air has slightly less battery life. Apple says you can expect around 11 hours of battery life versus 12 hours on the previous generation. But for how much more power, more graphics, uh, more storage, everything else that you're getting with this machine, the better keyboard, I am more than happy to compromise on that slight decrease in battery. But what do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments or reach out to me directly on Twitter so we can actually talk about this at Andrew underscore OSU. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.